Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers to you and out of my freshly poured coffee that I'm not going to spill from, this is today's message from The Universe Knows, who I think they have new cups and uh, new cups and new notebooks and new sweatshirts out. So I'm going to have to ask my friend to send us some, can't even talk, send some my way. Um, anyway, I really, uh, shooting my vlog, hold on, my video, just telling somebody to hold on, um, so here's the deal, side note, this is this little towel that I have here with my spoon on it, I'd just like to know why somebody hasn't invented a coffee maker where you, the, um, and somebody else said this, I think when I was researching what coffee maker to get, uh, where you pour the, the, what's the, the carafe, what's it called, like a thing that holds the coffee, where it won't spill when you, when you pour it. It's so annoying that I actually have to like put a towel out for my little coffee area in the morning. I guess there are bigger things to be upset about than that, but I'm just surprised that somebody has not invented a coffee pot that does not leak when you pour it. So when I'm pouring the water into the coffee maker, which is back there, um, sometimes if I don't pour it just the right way, then it's spilling all over the counter and I say curse words. And then here, when I go to pour my coffee in there, I've got to put a towel out because it's going to drip on the counter and then I have to wipe it. I really should bring out... Um, um, I'll do a, I'll do another video after this and, and talk about that. I have some new DVDs and, and I wanted to bring out my box of DVDs to make a point here. Um, but the point that I wanted to make, I just finished my workout this morning and I did oldie but goodie, um, from Kathy Friedrich. I did boot camp today. Um, kind of felt like I really need to kick my own ass today because we went out for Michael's birthday last night and what did I have? Still taking it a little easy with my mouth. I go back for two appointments this week. Um, and hopefully we should be wrapping up the uh, restoration work that I have to get done pretty soon. Um, boy, the birds are out in full force today. Anyway, um, we went out for Michael's birthday last night and we went to this place, this steak place. I so wanted to get a steak because um, I really love a great steak. But I was worried that it was still too much to chew with uh, this side. Yeah. And it's weird because I'm, I think my bite is a little crooked too right now because of the, I, ha, I don't have the crowns on the root canal areas, so there's areas that are flat, if you know what I mean. So it's like when I bite down, it's hitting more on this side than on this side. Anyway, all that to say, I got lobster. So I ordered, they had like a lobster tail you could get to add on to steaks, steak dinners. And I'm like, can I just have the lobster tail? Because I knew the lobster would be soft. So I had lobster tail. And then they had garlic mashed potatoes that I'm sure had like 8 billion gallons of cream and butter in it. I was going for it. And then I had, um, hold on, I'm gonna show you because I Instagrammed it, of course. They had those like homemade donut things. <laughs> My God. Um, they had those homemade donut things and I was drooling over, and I told Michael before we went there because I looked on Yelp and that's what they had. Can you see that? Um, but the only thing is the donuts themselves were good, but they had the other places that I've had them, they have them where you can dip them in like caramel or like a, a jelly or a jam or, and, and then caramel and chocolate. This was, they had an espresso thing. So that's the espresso. And then they had ice cream. I can't really do ice cream because of my dairy thing, especially ice cream. I tend to just have like a little bite of something, but anyway, it was good. But all that to say is a... I had a dirty martini last night, and then we had wine when we came home. So I was A, this is what sucks about getting old. You can't go on like a bender and enjoy it without the next day you're like, damn. So all last night, and I'm just telling you, I did not drink a lot. One dirty martini, yeah, I didn't order a second one. I had one dirty martini at dinner, and then I'd say one glass of wine um, when we got back here. I had cotton mouth. All night, all night. I'm getting up every like 45 minutes like, I love you so much. Sucks getting old. Maybe that's good though. 
it's, I, I mean, I don't want to become like some people I know that have bourbon for breakfast. I'm not saying any names. <coughs> Eric's husband. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I really felt like I needed to kick my ass this morning. Damn, I'm at five minutes already. So I pulled out um, Kathy Friedrich's um, boot camp, which, of course, let me just pull this out for you in case, because I didn't bring out my, um, that'll be the next video. I didn't bring out my props to show you. But this is an oldie but goodie. I haven't done it in forever. You can order it at kathy.com. Um, and here's what I love too. I told you guys this about, about her before. Can you see that? Every single DVD that she has will not only have the actual workout. Now in this case, the boot camp, hold on. This is, if you can see on the side, see on the side there? It's a uh, boot camp and muscle endurance. So those are two different workouts. So like, I, I think her DVDs like this, they'd probably be 50 or $60 for a DVD, but you're getting two kick-ass workouts. Muscle endurance uses the high step as well, um, but it's all about muscular endurance. Boot camp is, that's what she's doing when she's doing the boot camp. But then here, just for boot camp only, these are the premixes that she has. Core only premix, kickbox only premix, upper body only premix, lower body only premix, lower and upper body premix, cardio and lower body premix, everything but core premix. And then you go back to the main menu. So in addition to doing you know, the actual workout, then she's got special premixes where sometimes it has bonus footage and everything, but really cool. And when I did this boot camp thing today, there was um, some tricep work in there. Was there a tricep? Yes, tricep, tricep dips, um, not necessarily chest, but then there was a lot of core, a lot of planking, okay? I'm just gonna play with this while I'm here to make a point. Um, but as I was doing that, I was thinking about, you know, when we did tricep dips, I'm like, God, I haven't done triceps in a while. And I've talked about this before. We all tend to eat the same things that we like and enjoy, and we can get into a really bad, I don't want to say it's a bad habit, but I'm guilty of this all the time. When I love something, I make it, if I, if I love a certain meal, right, then I'm eating that every day. Like I got into the whole like grilled vegetables, you know, making my, not grilled, <clears throat> roasted vegetables in the, uh, God, I can't talk today, in the refrigerator, in the, mu <laughs> this is like a blooper state. I almost said in the muffin. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of carbs because I had the donuts last night. Um, in the oven, roasted vegetables and then putting them on top of a salad and um, putting hummus on top of that. I get addicted to that and then I have it like every single day. So I do this and I'm sure a lot of you do this with food and then you can do it with workouts. Um, you can tend to go and like me, I'm not like most people, I love leg day. And I also love working my shoulders because it's like one of my favorite body parts and I love working back. But let me tell you, I will avoid doing triceps and chest like it's the plague. I've always hated it. Sorry, I have some in my teeth. And I also, in the past, and I've told you this, I have avoided doing core work after I had gained weight because I didn't like that my, all, I've always had a really flat stomach my whole life. And when perimenopause hit me, all of a sudden I had a pudge and I was like, and so I avoided core work because I didn't really consciously realize this, that this was going on, but I didn't do core work because I didn't like that when I was doing crunches, I would look down and I could see the, the fat rolls and I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. So like a dumbass, I don't do core work or I haven't done core work. The big thing that I'm going to start doing now, and I think I thought of this really dorky, I'm full of dorky ideas, people. But I thought about, you know, so many of us create a vision board. We create a vision board that has the, the things that we aspire to, the things that we want to aim for. And it's been known to work. When you visualize what you want, then you can, you know, you can aim for it or whatever. But what about if you created a, um, a vision board and call it whatever you want, but I was thinking about creating a board of, you know, all the things that you hate to do, all the things that you avoid. And it could be, it could be anything. So for me, it's, you know, what do I tend to get to the end of the week lately and, I, and I'm not doing or I'm not fitting it in? Core, um, stretching. I don't stretch after my workouts. Sometimes I come in here because I want to shoot a vlog and I'm like, I'll stretch later. And then I don't stretch. And here I am like giving Michael crap because he's talking about tight hamstrings or whatever. And I'm like, did you stretch? And I cop that attitude and I'm like, oh, I forgot to stretch too. Stretching is good, people. Stretching is very good for us. So for me, I'm, I'm thinking about making 
making myself like, I don't know, it's like a bad vision board, but something that I have to focus on so that I make sure I don't have any neglected children in my house. And the neglected children in my house are stretching, core, chest, triceps. Now, I will give exception to one thing in that I have talked with Michael and, you know, we don't think, he, he agree that I don't need to work chest as much, um, meaning like I'm not trying to build up my pectoral muscles. So while I want to be, you know, even in, in working all parts of my body, you know, it's not something where it's like, oh God, you know, because clearly I've got something going on there. And especially after we have some work done this year, people, and don't tell me, I, I appreciate all of you people that say, you don't need to get anything done. Trust me, I've been wanting to do this since I was 20 years old. This is kind of cool. I really love having just this ball. I think everybody should get this for like the office and then you could just stand around while you're doing conference calls and do stuff like this and start working your upper body. Look at all this, all this stuff I can do. So go from biceps into, this is one of my favorite things to do. It's like biceps and if you close your eyes, shoulders. Do that. You can also do this with bands. Go right into shoulder press. Go into pushing. See how I'm starting to kind of get out of breath? I really should have my heart rate monitor on so we can see how many extra calories I'm burning right now. Because I am. Rolling the ball, pushing it over there, pushing it over there, pushing it down, going up and down. And I'm not trying to do disco. I'm just just helping you out here, just giving you some ideas. Whew, that's actually, I'm not even lying. That's burning up my arms. Okay, so it's 11 minutes. I gotta zip this off. But I challenge you guys, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself some little, like, like a mini vision board of the things that I avoid and the things that I tend to not do. And then I'm going to do them, because it's time to amp things up, people. I feel like I'm maybe getting on the other side of like all of that sickness drama <laughs> and maybe the dental drama, um, where I could eat again like a normal person and... It's time. Michael and I are going to start training. We're going to shoot a ton of videos, finally. Um, we'll shoot some workout videos, some eating videos, some me giving him crap videos, <laughs> all that good stuff. So, you guys have a good day. I'm going to shoot another video with my props next. That sounded very dirty, but I didn't mean for it to.